Hey guys, it's Priscilla Cloth here, and today I'm sorry, there's some Monster Legends leaked video with a bunch of new leaked movesets as well as some new leaked events, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first leak we have is for a Helmet Hoyt challenge, and you will be able to get a Helmet Hoyt out of that, of course. And his traits are immune to possess, true vision, and damage reduction. He's not a very good monster, but if you need him for a book, I guess go ahead and try to get him. And then we also have a Maze Island for Dolores coming soon, so you can go and get Dolores, which is a decent monster and you can also apparently get ancestral champion tokens which are very important so yeah definitely go ahead and get those as well and then there's also apparently going to be a pack to rank up your ancestor monster if you want to spend real money don't think that's worth it though don't really waste money on that and then we have the brand new treasure cave tutorial so they're bringing this event back if you didn't see my last week's video it is the treasure cave and yeah pretty much you'll be put in a room with three doors you click on a door it's either a trap or it is a reward if it is a reward you can continue going forward if it's a trap you either lose or you can spend gems to continue and then uh, you actually lose all of your rewards if you hit a trap as well which is why you would want to spend gems to continue and while in the rooms you can either choose to leave or go forward and of course if you leave you keep all your rewards that is pretty much the treasure cave and how you're going to do it and yeah you can get gems you can get a bunch of really great stuff so it is definitely worth doing and it's completely free or at least it was when it was in the game before i'm not sure if they'll add like a fee or something but it used to be completely free so yeah very good event and then apparently they're also adding new farm crops which is really cool we have some uh, leaked right here we got the carnivo bloom dragon pear jade apple monster melon and a raffalesia flower which is a very cool i cannot wait to see what all of these are and then we have tiny traps design right here which is pretty cool i actually do like it quite a bit he looks really cool he looks like a lizard and he's got a giant axe and then we have sir alanta floats and moves out right here so he's going to be a water and metal attacker with shields torture immunity bleeding and boiling so he has a deal is heavy metal damage to one enemy and applies 40 percent life shield to himself which is okay he's a 33 percent life shield with torture immunity as well which is okay and then he also has a bleed to all enemies with low metal damage and he has a moderate metal damage to all enemies with bleed and boiling that's a really good move right there so yeah overall it seems interesting and uh, not sure what these moves are yet but he seems okay so far and then we have jelly Mer's description if you want to go ahead and read that and then we have jelly Mer's a move set right here jelly Mer is actually going to be the new multiplayer monster so this monster will be very easy to get free to play so let's go and see if he's good so he has a random negative status effect to one enemy and a moderate magic damage and bane to all enemies which is decent he also has a bane and random negative of status effect to one enemy he also has a life regen to himself he can heal all allies by 30 percent which is pretty cool he also has a 50 percent heal with life regen and he can heal one ally by 20 percent and then he has an increase his maximum life by 20%, heals itself by 20%, and all allies by 30%, which is a pretty good move. So yeah, he can keep everyone alive. That seems pretty good. And then uh, we have Sir Lance Flow's missing skills, by the way, the other ones. Applies boiling to all enemies, which is okay, and he can apply 50% life shield to himself and remove all tortures from himself. So yeah, not a very good monster. His moves are not very good. But yeah, Jelly Mer seems pretty decent. And then we have a Tiny Traps Evolving trait right here. We have Immuna Freeze, Immuna Poison, and self Piercator. That is a really bad trait. So yeah, don't really worry about that too much. And then we have Dolores's trait. We have Celestial Immuna Possession and Self Stamina Regen. Another just really bad bad trait and then we have jelly murders immune to possess curse immunity and taunt which yeah taunt's pretty good but the other two suck and then we have an image for jelly Mer, which i already showed and then we have tiny traps relics but yeah jelly Mer's design looks pretty great right here and tiny traps relics are sword and sword which are also pretty great so yeah that is what we have for this video let me know down in the comments which monster you guys are most excited for and what you guys think of the uh, new event coming soon the treasure cave well it's not really new but let me know down in the comments if you guys like it or not and then also what you guys think of these new farm crops. And yeah, it says in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.